On the previous episode of this Jar Fate series, we began afresh on a human mage where we would put ourselves to the test to accomplish each one of the hardcore achievements as we also grinded to the max level 60. If you didn't know, the first Alliance hardcore achievement takes place in the Night Elf starting zone Teldrassil, and that was on the other side of the world on a whole separate continent. Today, we take the journey to swim all the way around the continent as a level 8 in attempts to make it to Teldrassil safely. Will we live to tell the tale? Today, we are embarking on a journey. But there's going to be a lot of swimming. So there's going to be like probably about 40 minutes of just very boring gameplay. Because uh, I, I'm going to be swimming a lot. And that's the only way, the safest way that I can get there as a level 8. I restarted the series and now I have 36 possibilities. What I did, Ron helped me with this idea. Basically what I did was I wrote down every race and I wrote down every class on the same piece of paper. So let's say Troll. Troll has six different classes that they can be as. So now I have six pieces of paper in here that have Troll Rogue, Troll Shaman, Troll this, Troll that. And then also I have every other race. So. Uh, the first one we picked out was a human mage, so we are a human mage at the moment. We made it to level 8. Um, today is the day that we take the journey from Elwyn to Teldrassil. Uh, this is going to be a very boring... If I make it, even if I even make it to the sea, I might die right here at the start. Like I said, this is a very dangerous run, so we're going to be praying. Uh, we're going to be praying that we make it, and we're going to give glory to God every step of the way that we make it. But anyway, I'm going to pray for us real quick, uh, and we're going to hop on into this adventure. Uh, for those of you that don't know, we are live on Twitch as well, so if you want to go on Twitch, you are more than welcome. The link is in the description in my link tree. You can find my Twitch on there, or unless you just want to type Case D Hugh. Heavenly Father God, I thank you so much for this opportunity to be here. Lord, I just pray for your blessings. I pray for your grace and your mercy. Um, Lord, I just pray for forgiveness if we need it. Um, thank you for allowing us to make right choices. Thank you for allowing us to repent. Thank you for just your, your relationship with us. Um, I do pray for our journey today. Lord, whatever is a part of your will for us to accomplish today, I pray that be done. Your will be done with this stream. But also, Lord, I do pray that we uh, we make it to achieve this um, accomplishment in our core. Not for our glory, not to say that we did it by our own strength, but God, I, I pray that we do it to glorify you. And to say, look at what we were able to do with your power and your grace that flows through us. So God, I just thank you for this opportunity. If we die today, then so be it. We'll try again. But Lord, I do pray for success, and I do pray for protection on this journey. Yes, it is a video game, but Lord, I do just want to achieve it to glorify you, just to show your glory and your uh, your will to be done. But God, thank you so much for everything, and I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right, here we are. Let's head to Stormwind. Stormwind is the capital of this, this land. Then we have to go down here to Westfall. Uh, so there is, there's going to be a bit of a boring, boring phase here, but... Bro is the senior citizen slayer. <laughs> yes, sir. You already know I'm old man mage. Look at he's he's seen some stuff, bro. He's he's about to embark on the on the hardest journey he's ever. He's about to swim for a steady forty minutes, bro. Y'all think I'm exaggerating too? This this swim that I'm about to swim on is going to be about forty minutes. Like I said, Ron took the time the other day to literally take this journey with me, and it turned out to be literally. 40 minutes was it was about 37 minutes right so this is probably going to be uh the most eventful part of the journey going to stormwind how are you i'm good how are you oh increases armor increases strength inflicts 38 i don't want explosive rockets increase melee attack power we'll do armor because we don't really use melee that much have a good one thank you let's make some water real quick Time to make our journey. <clears throat> the journey begins. So we'll, what we basically have to do is we have to go down here to Westfall. And then we have to go through this little river to avoid wolves. I'm going to need this hogger quest for later. I'm not going to do it yet. Uh, but I do need this hogger quest. Ooh, what am I going to get from this? Ooh, look at that staff we get too, bro. Oh, two agility, two stamina, 18 to 21 damage. Oh, baby. So we have to kill Hogger before... That's another achievement that we have to do. Uh, kill Hogger before level 12. So we'll be level 11 when we do that. By that time, we will have... Um, 
We'll have Frost Nova, Frost Armor, and we'll have the next level of Conjure Water. So, we'll be super good. Uh, I don't... Do I have to avoid these wolves? I don't remember how... What level were these wolves here, Ron? Do you remember? I know I couldn't see it as a level 1. And it looks like... Oh, it's level 10. Okay, so it's not terrible. I can take them if I need to. You know what? I might be able to take these as a level 8. These Murlocs, I don't know what level they are. I might not have to worry too much if I get aggro. Because now that I think about it, I'm not level 1. And I'm not going to die from everything. So I mean, being level 8 is a little better, obviously. But it seems like somebody cleared out these coyotes over here. Perfect timing, dude. Gods will be done. 10. 13. Are they swarm? Yeah. Uh, okay, so this is what we have to make it past. Yeah, these are 12s. Oh, yeah. 11 to 13. Uh, so how do we do this before? We went up here, right? We go up this side of the hill. We have to make it to the ocean without aggroing any of those murlocs right there. So I think we went up here, right? And then... I think I went this way. Right? How did I do this? Okay, there we go. Perfect. Um, now I think I can go down here. There we go. I can come up here. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Perfect, bro. Look at that. We made it. Okay. That's all we needed. This was the hardest part. This is the hardest part of the journey was making it past all these Murloc jerks, Murloc coast runners and raiders. Uh, so now we're home free. Now we can just kind of chill. Um, just so you guys can see uh, where we're going. So basically, we start here. We got to swim all the way around this, all the way up to here. All the way up to this point right here. So this is a long journey. This is the safest journey that I can take as a level 8 without dying to get to Teldrassil. So bear with me as this is going to be very, very boring. Okay? So we're just going to be chilling here. So just a little pre-warning, yes, I already know about the Iron Forge Mountain Skip. At the time of this stream and at the time of recording this video, I did not know about it. And by the time that I had already finished the journey, uh, that was when I found out that there was a much quicker route. But anyway, let's start the video. But the journey's not over yet. This is only like half the journey. Once we get to Teldrassil, we gotta find the quest and not die. I've never, I don't, I don't know if I've even seen Rage Claw. Is ra what is Rage Claw? Is it like a tiger or something? I just got a flashback of all the all the people that I saw die the other day in that cave. Oh no! No, he died. Uh oh. Oh, am I about to witness another death? You are dead. You are so dead, bro. Oh my gosh, you're so dead. Oh, I feel so bad for you, bro. We made it. We made it. The cave you're going into can be a challenge. Uh, yeah. Yeah, as expected. I, I don't even know what I'm getting myself into, really. And I don't think I want to know. I think, I, I think I'm just going to go in blind. Okay. Oban Rageclaw, the sleeping druid. Oh, and, oh, and we got that priest buffs. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we're getting blessed out here, dude. I don't know. Is that cheating? Am I allowed to have buffs? from other players I mean I've been taking buff from other players regardless we got that stamina buff bro that what a blessing from God bro like just a random priest in the middle of nowhere if you don't ask for them yes all right bet I didn't ask for it but God knew I needed it that's for sure are these the uh the yep, these are the shamans eh okay God be with us, bro. This this could be the, this could be it right here, bro. Real talk. So we will definitely make it to level nine. I think we can make it to the quest before we hit level ten. I don't think that'll be a problem. Drinking water is going to be a bit of a problem. So I think two two frost bolts, arcane shot, and fire blast. Boom. One's dead. Um, yep. Quest is down there. Let's go ahead and. No, I didn't need to eat. Let's drink. Oh, we're gonna have to do a lot of drinking water. Let's do this. Let's be very careful. Let's kind of take it slow as we're going around here. We're gonna have to use polymorph to our advantage as well. Crap. Crap. Come on now. Ok, 
Okay, so I think that was the only one patrolling, right? <sighs> this is gonna suck, bro. So they usually only get about two to three hits on us before they have to run away. I warned you. Yes, you did, bro. Yes, you did. I'm gonna have to probably... So when they run away, I can just take another arcane shot, honestly. I can either arcane shot or hit them with a level 1 frostbolt, and that should either slow them down or get it going. Uh, so what we'll do, our, basically our rotation is frostbolt, arcane shots, let those hit, fire charge, boom, they're dead, or they either run away. They start running away. So this is obviously probably the easiest part of the cave right here. Like I said, I don't even know what I'm getting into right now. But I think kind of sucks about the frostbolt. They run away quickly too, bro. Ooh. Ooh. We got an upgraded staff too here. Uh, increase his spirit. I don't know if that's going to get rid of my other scroll. I would. Is this going to get rid of my protection if I use the spirit scroll? Save your instant fire blast for when they run. I think... I don't think it really matters which one I use, because by the time they run, I have another arcane. Although that does use 85, but I think pretty much after every single... We'll try it. Let's, let's just see. Let's, let's try a different rotation. We'll do a level 1 frostbolt next. Okay. I, yeah, I think we can do that. Either way, we're going to have to be using a, a frostbolt or two. Let's, let's go this way. This seems like the way we have to go anyway. Hit him with a fireball. Oh, that okay. That's a big mistake. I shouldn't do that. Actually, no. This is this works. So I think he'll de-aggro once I go back here. This also lets me see how quick the uh, the respawns are. So we can polymorph uh, to run away and reset them. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! Oh, don't tell me all my stuff is about to break. Son of a mother, bro. My my belt's about to break. That's only that's only minus three armor. All right, we have a double pull here. He resisted. I think we're gonna go ahead and reset this one. So the only thing we have to worry about with resetting is respawns. Um, is running back into a bunch of other mobs. So that's why I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible. Okay, there is a... There he is. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now the quest has officially begun. We just dinged level 9. Kind of perfect timing, because this, this is where we have to do this. Um, so he's a level 10. This should be easy. This should be easy. Should. Bring a shaman voodoo charm to open rage claw. Okay. So I have to kill more of these creatures. I'm actually... Where is his body, though? Oh, you don't like to see that, dude. Look at all these hardcore dead bodies, bro. Let's hope we get these this voodoo thing. Like, did I just aggro something? Okay. Let's hope we get these this charm immediately. I'm actually going to go ahead and make my way back the other way. And actually get the respawns. Because I actually don't know where his body is. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Be right back, I'll be right here, man. Okay, we gotta go. We have to reset this. Whew, okay, this is not good because these are respawning here. I might die here, low key. They'll probably respawn in here very soon. fight this. Oh, no, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Whew, okay, that's a heart attack and a half. Let's go. Okay, let's, uh, we have to be very careful here. He should reset right there. Let's go ahead and kill him. Please give me this totem thing. Oh, this is gonna be like that one quest in, on, uh, in Durotar. I hated that quest so much. <clears throat> it's gonna be like that, uh, that freaking insignia. That burning blade insignia. 
that cave. I need to get this before level 10. Bro. Don't, why are you missing? Oh, please, bro, please. And the sucky thing is, is that there's like barely any shamans over here. We have 6,000-ish XP before we level up. Come on now, please, bro. How much XP did I give? 90? So we have about... 50, 5,600 more XP divided by 90. That's okay, 62 mobs. We can, oh gosh. We can kill 62 of these bad boys before we have any issue. Oh crap. Stop running. Now 61. Give or take, it could be more or less. Here we go. Here it is. Charm. Dang it! Thank God for crits, bro. Thank God for crits, man. Another scroll of prot. I'm fine with it, but not what I needed. Show me the jackpot. No! I'm glad he can't aggro me up there. Give me charm. Where are you going? Bro, if you don't give me this charm right now. This is literally like the freaking Burning Blade Insignia quest. Literally just like it, bro. You kill thousands upon thousands of mobs and they just don't drop it. They just don't drop it. Watch me get it at like all the way up here. I'm counting on the miracle right now, bro. Uh, I'm a little. Uh, this uh, this this charm is not dropping in time, and it doesn't help that we had. Oh, bro, I had I I okay. There's one thing that I did that I probably shouldn't have done. I uh, I turned in a quest in Stormwind and got 800 plus XP. So that 800 XP that I got from that it's probably the xp that i needed and it sucks that i have to fight other defenders because it's wasting xp like if i if i could just fight only shamans in here that'd be like prime oh my gosh wait how did i whoa 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 whoa, whoa. hello why did y'all aggro hello why did you aggro Oh my gosh, there's no way. Um. Jesus. Okay, um, I don't want to keep polymorphing everything because I don't know if I, I might get stuck in a situation where I can't get out. There's so many defenders over here, though. Actually, I might want to wait till the respawn up here because I need to get to about right here in order for them to de aggro. So I have a feeling this one's going to respawn soon. Or should I just take the patient route and just wait here? Because it seems like a shaman always spawns here. I don't know how long the respawns are. But at this point, I might have to take the patient route. So I think... I'm just going to see... Watch. Wait. Oh, somebody else is here. 
Yo, this is gonna make it somewhat easier. I don't know why. Why is he here though? If he can kill the bro, this actually might be good. This might be a blessing here. Okay, look, patient route, bro. Maybe you need to search it up right now. How it looks like. Uh. Nah, I'm think I think I'm okay. I think I'm good now. Now that this guy's here. He seems to be doing the quest himself. I might this might be good for me. I don't I don't know. He cleared out that defender. I'm going to I'm I'm going to try to backseat this guy a little bit. But now that he's clear Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's check. He's cleared this part of the cave. So this actually let's go. This this might be like I, I need to be careful here because of respawns, but he cleared this part of the cave So now I can kind of venture back a little bit And see if I can nitpick some shamans Oh, thank you God. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Praise God. Okay. Let's go. Okay. We we still have a chance. Let's go. Let's go, bro Let's go. We still have a chance. Praise God. I'm sorry for ever doubting you. I doubted there for a second. I'm sorry. Lord forgive me. We should have enough time to talk. I think we're good. If I need to. Complete the quest. 700. Gosh darn it. I wish I could opt out of the XP. Uh, but no, this is good. This is perfect timing. We might have to go towards that pally. So he already cleared the path. He's already cleared the path. Let's go. He's already cleared it. No, we have to go the other way. Oh, darn it. But let's try to get this, bro. I'm going to try to polymorph as much of these things as possible. Yes, please. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes. Okay, let's go. We're going to backseat this. We have to backseat this a little bit. We have to. Okay, this is all working out. This is all working out. See, it's all God's timing, bro. This is all about God's timing. He's going to clear the path a little bit more. Let's go. Let's freaking go, bro. Okay, God is good, bro. God is out. God's looking out for us. He's not worried about leveling up. I'm going to backseat this a little bit. I'm going to run back this way, act like I'm not backseating it a little bit, blah, blah, blah. I'm, oh, I'm looking at loot. Oh, well, I actually am kind of looking at loot because this is a lot of good stuff. Oh, let's use this scroll. Use this scroll, okay? Okay. We're, we're, we're utilizing this just a little bit because I have to make sure I save the XP. I have to make sure. Rage Claw is right there. He's freaking killing Rage Claw. Why does this happen? Why, why does this happen, bro? He's literally... He's killing Rage Claw. Gosh darn it. Wait, no, I have to use... I No, I can respawn him. It's okay. I can respawn him. That's okay. It's okay. I can respawn him, right? I can respawn him? Is that how that works? He's clutching it up. He's got his pots. He's got his potions. He's, he's, he's doing good. This guy's, this guy's clutching it up, dog. Uh, excuse me. We're good. We're we're Gucci here. Yeah, we can we can respawn him. Correct? Where do I have to do it though? Where is it at? So Rage Claw. Okay. He's a fast respawn. Okay. No, I think I can use him. I I think I can use it. Oh my gosh! I didn't even have to fight him! Bro! I literally didn't even have to fight him! I, I didn't have to fight him! Yo! I didn't... That's a freaking blessing, bro! I ain't no luck! That's a blessing, dog! That is a blessing in disguise, bro! What?! I didn't even have to fight him! I just have to make it up there now, and I have to get... Oh... Oh my gosh. That is literally a work of God right there. That is literally the hand of God over the situation right now, dude. I, I ain't even tripping, bro. That is crazy. Oh my gosh. I didn't even know that was possible. We did it. Bro, we did it. We did it with with how much XP to spare? Literally, literally like two, three hundred and ten XP, three hundred and six XP, bro, to spare. 
Oh my gosh. Yo, that is actually so pog, bro. That is literally so pog. God, I'm forgive me for ever doubting, bro. Oh my gosh. Praise the Lord indeed, bro. That is actually crazy. We did it, dude. It it wasn't looking good. You know. <laughs> bro! What's up? Let's go. Let's freak. I'm hearthing out of here, dog. You already know. I'm out of this cave. We outie. We're about to hit level 10. Yo. Everything that just happened was like so divinely orchestrated, dude. Every Everything between me getting all the way up in level as I did, that paladin coming into the cave and clearing the path, that paladin killing Rageclaw. I didn't know that, that if he killed Rageclaw, I could still use the totem on him and then... And then I would get the I would get the quest completed. I had no clue. I, I thought I would have to fight him myself. That's so crazy, bro. Bless up, bro. We did it. We freaking did it, dude. And I got a nice Oh, I got some nice robes. Oh, look at that, dog. Oh, we got some plus one stamina in here. It's not the greatest robe in the world, but you know what? It has plus one stamina. And we're a level nine. So I'll take it. It's not the greatest in the world. It's kind of ugly, Loki. <laughs> it has like a bunch of leaves on it. But uh, that is that was so divinely orchestrated, bro. From start to finish, bro. Think about it, bro. Just think about it. You can't tell me this wasn't divinely orchestrated. Thinking all the way back to the beginning, those wolves, those coyotes were dead. That I would have to originally avoid, even though they were like level ten. They still would have caused a bit of problem, and they still would have. I still would have had to kill them to get XP. So again, at the very beginning, the wolves were already cleared out. Whoever killed the wolves, I have no idea. Somebody cleared them though, and they were still dead by the time I got there. I swam all the way there. We got to the boat. We got we got the quest. We got through to the quest. Obviously, I started to doubt a little bit, which is natural. It, it happens. Um, I was I was just surrendered. I was like, you know what? If we don't get it, it is what it is. But we're still gonna try. And then all of a sudden, I I was like, maybe we should wait. And I waited there for a little bit, and a freaking paladin comes through, bro. Like what? Tell me that's not divinely orchestrated, bro. A freaking paladin comes through the cave. Like, hey, how's it going? <laughs> like, I'm here to clear the way for you. And he didn't he didn't even know. Like he didn't actually say that. But like it's legit. Like God, like God is like here. I'm gonna use this other guy. I was your best divine intervention. I told you to start at level 8 instead of waiting till level 9 to start like you wanted to. And that too, bro. Because if I started at level 9, absolutely, bro. 100% agreed. God used you. God used whoever killed the coyotes. God used whoever that priest was that gave me divine fortitude. Uh, God used the paladin. And we did it, bro. Like, no, no sweat, bro. No sweat. Now, we have to prepare for Vagash. Oh no, he fell. Dang! Stamina by 10. Whoa. Yo, what is up with us right before we go do a, a legendary or a, an achievement? We get blessed by a priest. That's kind of. That's so, like. That is such a god thing to do, bro. Like, here, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> that's so crazy, bro. We literally. This is the second time in a row. We've been blessed. We also got a blessing of might, bro. Literally, it says blessing, bro. It's crazy. Blessing of kings. We're king. Increases all stats by ten. Let's let's go slay this freaking fool, bro. <sighs> let's do this. We got this. Let's go. I think we're I think we're good. Let's go and frost bolt him. Let's hit him with another frost bolt. We're gonna keep kiting him this way. Oh, he goes he goes fast. Okay, he goes super fast. Um, we'll have to do level one. No, that's a that's oh gosh. Okay. 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 Don't don't help me. Don't help. Don't help. No, he reset. No. I I was messing up my my uh what's it called? That's okay. I mean, he's a, he has a fast respawn, so 
So basically, I need to keep doing damage to him. I was just, I was pressing the wrong button. I think I was pressing four instead of three. So I, I messed up the, the kite. I wasn't doing enough damage. Okay. We got this. Okay. This is where we go around the fence. Okay. Boom. Easy. Now we just do it from here. Easy, bro. We have a little bit of a stamina or a little bit of a mana problem. Um, but I think we'll be okay. Let me, uh... I think we'll be alright. No! Okay, that's our problem is mana. Okay, um... The problem is mana. Yeah, that level 1 Frostbolt does absolutely no damage. But it might be our only way to do this. Okay. No, what are you doing? Stop. Bro, stop. Bro, stop, please. Oh my gosh. I didn't... I mean, I guess that works, but... I didn't want help, but... Okay. Uh, I didn't want the help, but... Thank you, I guess. That kind of takes away the whole point of it. Alright! Another quest done! Another achievement down. Uh, another achievement down. Another one done. I, I didn't want help from those guys, but I, I guess it works. Kind of takes away the, the fun of it, but I can't really control other people. I guess I, I could have tried to type in chat, no help, but whatever. We got it done. Um, Welcome guess, uh, kinda, kinda to the crazy. Hue Crew. Uh, box, bro. Thanks for that follow, man. All right, let's let's see, you, bro. Where's Yeddo? Where's Yeddo? Oh, yikers. This ain't it, bro. Yeah. I might die here. I'm about to bail this.
Yep, I'm bailing. I'm bailing, 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 bro. I got him so close though. Look at that, dude. Alright, we have to fight him solo, bro. Let's let's get it. I have no mana. I might die, low key. That's that's sketch, bro. Like low key, that's high key sketch. I I want to do this because I didn't want help the first time, and I want to actually do it on my own. Granted, it's over and done with, and I don't have to do it. Should I just not do it? Am I am I trying too hard to prove myself? <laughs> like, bro, <bruh. laughs> bro, I can't freaking do this on my own. Everybody keeps interrupting me, dog. Ah, it's so frustrating. What a wholesome interaction with that gnome, bro. Gosh darn it, dude. That's so lame. A uh, part of me still wants to go back and do it at level 11 at least. Cause that that's so cheesy, bro. Like I didn't want any help. I even tried my very best. Like I, bro. Like come on, dude. Literally got all the way to the fence, and of course a warlock thinks he has to help me. But bro, I didn't want the help. Like I, I I can appreciate it. Like it's it's obviously kind and it's it's cool. You know, hardcore characters want to help each other, but it's literally I don't want the help. We got the achievement as well, but I still think I I'm gonna go back at level 11 and, and kill Hogger. I think that's the the right thing to do. We got the quest done. We got three achievements done today. Need help? I'm definitely going to go back and do that at level 11. So this is where we get that nice staff. That's right. Hogger goes down in go honor, the most lame way possible. We got a lot done today. We lived to tell the tale. We made it all the way to tell Drasil. Technically, you were helped on all three. Technically, yes, but I consider the first one more of like an intervention than it helping me. Because he, he wasn't going out of my way or out of his way to help me directly. Like, he was indirectly helping me without even really being aware of it. For Vagash, those two people legitimately saw me fighting him on my own and came and helped me. Didn't want it. For Hogger, same thing. The Warlock helped me and I didn't want it. So, the... The first one was more of just like an intervention type vibe. They just, he was just there and he didn't, he wasn't actively going out of his way to try and help me. No, but you didn't cast a single spell on Rage Claw Bear. That is true. But also, I thought that I would summon him. I thought, I was under the assumption that using the, using that 
that charm on his body would summon him to fight the bear. Because I thought that's what you said. I thought you said that I would use that charm to summon him. So, like, I clicked on his body, the one that was already dead. And I was like, okay, what if I use it on the body and then summon him? And then it was like, oh, quest is complete. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> but then again, he still, he wasn't actively going out of his way to help me. So, it's still indirectly. The last two were directly helping me and I didn't want it. The first one, indirectly, that was a blessing, honestly. Because, honestly, if I had to fight him, I could have. It wouldn't have been, e it wouldn't have been hard. Um, I would have had no issue doing that. But it was still, it was still indirectly. But yeah, you are correct. I did not have to fight Rage Claw. But, you know. All of it is a blessing, technically. Because, I mean, uh, I, I could very well die fighting Hogger. Like, Hogger is quick as heck, bro. Like, hitting him even with a frost bolt and my frost armor, like, the dude is zooming. So, I could very well die doing that. Um, so, it, it's definitely a blessing, but I don't know. If you had fought all those, you would have leveled past the achievement. Right, exactly. So, that's why I consider it a blessing, because God knows that if I had gone, if, if it had gone any other way, um, then it would have, I would have not gotten the achievement. So, we got 30 achievement points, though three achievements done we're gonna find a bed to sleep on we're gonna call it right here we're gonna get well rested heavenly father god thank you so much for the success today i give you all glory to all the things that happened um, all those little moments where i felt like there was divine intervention i give you glory for god um the last couple of moments of course they could have been divine intervention as well but um i do thank you for all the successful achievements that were made um, I do thank you for the, just the success thus far, and I give you glory for all that's to come and all that happened today. Thank, uh, thank you again for Ron, and thank you for all the all the people that you put in my path along the way um, that have helped me, and uh, even that that random gnome player. May he be blessed. I mean, he was a he was a wonderful uh, moral support to have. He who encouraged and believed that I could take on Hogger on my own. Um, so just to even even though it's a video game just to have that type of person in the world to come across is such a blessing um, so god i just thank you for that random person i pray they find blessings as well um, but god thank you for this opportunity to just start this series over in a new way thank you for new ideas again thank you for ron who came across with those new ideas and helped uh, helped get this series to where it's at um, so lord i just pray he finds blessings as well just for his heart just his willingness to um, help with his knowledge and his wisdom um, but God I just once again above all else thank you I give you glory and I pray these things in the name of Jesus amen amen bro praise God God is good successful day even if it didn't go the way that we necessarily wanted to um, I'm vibing I'll catch you on the flip flop bro the flippity flop peace out bro have a good night take care of yourself eat your water and drink your food as always.